Alrighty, here I have my level 90 pretty standard dexterity build. It's uh, lightweight and does a lot of damage. It's pretty simple. So I see this first guy and based on his armor set alone I'm guessing that he's not much of a challenge. And seeing the washing pole, I, I, I think that's more of a secondary weapon if you ask me. So that thought is further reinforced. I'm just thinking to myself, I'm gonna fuck this guy up. There's no way I lose to somebody that dresses and acts like this. I see him pull out the buckler, and I'm like, okay. Uh, okay, okay. That, that was a dumber one, and... Oh, wait, okay. Oh, what was that parry? Okay, whatever. We can still win this. Like, just look at this guy. There's no way I lose to him. I pull out the Flamberge just to have some fun, and... Oh! Oh! Did I just lose that? Oh my god! So, coming back to Dark Souls 3 after a couple weeks... Uh, yeah, that game right there, Melee, I've been playing that ever since I got it to work on my computer, so you can guess what type of content I'll be making. Um, but coming back, I realized that the combat in Dark Souls 3 is nowhere near as cool as it is in Melee. So, I, I, I start playing a way more aggressive than with my current skill I am comfortable to do. Um, and context of this invasion, this guy killed me an ember ago, um, deceiving me into thinking that he was allowing me to just go kill those guys, uh, the NPCs. So I'm not very happy with him. That's why I healed on him and shit like that. Um, so yeah, I'm making a number of mistakes that I wouldn't normally, and, oh, oh, do, the fuck? Am I retarded? Let's roll that back. I... I tried rolling right there. Is my fucking keyboard broken, or am I broken? All soft. The, the ceiling's soft, the floor's soft, the walls are soft, and to an extent, the air is soft. Ugh. Whatever. Fuck it. And, oh my god. Is that a bloodshade? Sasquatch. Yeah, you. Get the camera. We'll never see a specimen like this again. It kind of makes me happy seeing it, even though this guy's clearly clueless as to what game he's playing. Um, that I'm seeing a bloodshade, because that is so three years ago, uh, that it, it just reminds me of a time when this game had so many more people playing it. Um, this, this purple is confusing me currently, and this is when I realized, okay, okay, this guy can stop now. And I see how much damage I did to him, and I'm like, okay, I can outplay this guy, let's just finish him off. Like... Oh, oh shit, he's actually getting me kind of low. Alright, let's just beat him up. Oh. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it. Of course. Of course I would fall for the one parry he throws out. Fuck this game, fuck all of you, fuck your mom. <sighs> Alright, well, let me try level 36. Level 36 is a pretty easy range, as long as you're not getting 1v4'd. So, let's do this. Okay, so this guy's wearing nothing, and ooh, that is 10 health vigor meta. So let's just beat him up. Okay, he's using S stock, which isn't too hard to play around. I mean, I've got a Black Knight shield. Oh, shit. Okay. That's okay. Holy fuck. We can bait him. I've got a dagger. Let's just do that right now. Oh, <sighs> what am I doing? This is embarrassing. I'm better at this game than this. It's okay. I'll finish him off right here, right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, hey. I mean, the catacomb says that there's a whole lot of activity. Let's just try this area. <sighs> I swear, is this what 2019 is? I, I never find invasions anymore. It's depressing. My character himself has had enough. What is there to be done? 
I couldn't tell you if I tried. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can Please. feel my leg. Well, hey, I found an invasion finally, and... Okay, okay, this is enough. I'm hosting. So, I get the same guy after about two-ish hours of playing. I, I got him again. And I have lost so many times that I, I've kind of broken it down in myself. See, as I've said numerous times, I'm not that good at this game. But... I can do just good enough to edge out somebody, and that's what I'll do here. See, I've come to learn with competitive gaming over time that, and this applies to anything really, that frustration and tilt is all within yourself to deal with. You shouldn't expect your opponent to change themselves to make you go on tilt less. That is just simply expecting something that you shouldn't expect. It's not their job to make you enjoy kicking their ass more. So, with that in mind, I've accepted that I'm not as good as I used to be at this game, and that I need to improve again. It's easy to say that, it's hard to do it, so I guess I'll just have to do it now, won't I? GG's to that guy. And that's another thing, it's really hard to accept within yourself that and this is one of the hardest things for anybody, is to accept that you may or may not be as good as you were at a current, at a past point. And what I mean by that is simply just the, the passage of time and not doing something. It, it's hard to imagine yourself not being at your top at all times, especially for what I imagine my audience to be mostly people in their 20s, people that probably haven't met the highest they'll reach in life. And I mean, hell, I'm not even in my 20s yet, and I kind of feel like that sometimes. So, whenever I see a Valor Heart, I immediately, like, relate that to a really good player, but this guy's gonna make some fatal flaws. Um, but I still think he was a good player. Um, something that I've, I've noticed throughout this entire play session is that, and I've known this for a long time, that you can really tell what type of player you're fighting against based on their armor. Everybody has their own way of deducing this in their head, but for example, somebody that is wearing Artorius armor probably does not have the best PvP skills, while someone wearing like the Ornstein chestplate or like Millwood armor or Exile, stuff like that. They, they probably know at least a thing or two. They at least have one brain cell, as in comparison to the Artorias player. Now, I was actually uh, pretty surprised by this player. He's wearing good armor. He's just two-handing a sword. So, you know, what can you do about it? But anyway, back on topic. I feel like almost anybody can re-reach and go higher than a past form of themselves if they try hard enough. And they, don't, and they don't get angry that they're not performing at the same height that they used to. Every invasion or fight club that I've won as of current has been against very mediocre players because I'm a very me mediocre player. But that's okay. I'm willing to accept that I have a lot of places that I need to improve on. And what that means is that I can actually improve. When you blindsight yourself and only allow yourself to get frustrated, you really stop yourself from ever improving. And improving is a long, arduous road. Well, with that mostly out of the way, I guess I'll just talk now. If you thought I was actually about to fight the host... No. There's this little thing called the Invasion... What am I saying? Covenant of Blue. And... If, if you're an invader, you know this. And if you don't, let me just tell you, blues are retarded. I've never come across a good blue. So, this is clearly a fight club, but, you know, whatever. What can you do about it? Blues are gonna be blues. And that's all you can do. I, I swear, 
I don't know why they made the covenants work this the way they did in this game, because if you're somebody that legitimately is part of the way of the blue, you're you're almost like destined to not be that great of a PvP player because you never see action, or at least not enough. You're so desperate for your tongue or what is it, proof of Concord, that it completely overlooks what the actual goal is in an invasion, in a fight. I don't know. It's been talked to death, but they could really fix the Covenants in this game. They could have improved on them massively. Um, GG's to that guy. So, going back to something I mentioned earlier, um, I finally got Melee working on my computer. I've been fighting people online using Anther's Ladder, and I've been having a ball, despite the fact that I'm terrible at the game. But I will probably be making a Road of Improvement series on Melee. Probably none of you here will give a shit, but hopefully you do. Um, Melee is a fantastic game for those that don't know. It is hard to get into, but it is so rich with with depth and replayability. Uh, and it just has a fantastic fan base, minus the elitism. Um, so yeah, you can expect to see content like that eventually. I'll probably be making stuff like that more often than I do Dark Souls 3 videos, quite honest. I just enjoy it more right now, now that I've got it working again. There's another example of why I need to get a new keyboard. I pressed roll, and I backstepped, and there was nothing I could do about it. Maybe it's a little bit hard to explain, but if you were to see what I was doing, you would understand. And this right here was the confirmation that I cannot be doing level 90 stuff here at the Gank City, because this man is very clearly a level 120 build. Um, at level 90, I think you can still get invaded by 120s, but you cannot get invaded. You cannot invade 125s, if I'm not mistaken. So, either I've just got to go to somewhere like the Ring City or something, or like the Grand Archives for this build, or I just need to accept that I'm typically going to be at a level disadvantage, which I can do that, um, because I would prefer if this was a level 90 build. I, I like having stat limitations, even though level 90 is not very limiting. Actually, you know what, I, now that I think about it, a build that I need to get back underway is my level 60 luck build. Uh, if any of you have ever seen the luck video from two years ago that I made, um, I love that build. I, I've got to redo it. It's so much fun. It's it's like a jack-of-all-trades sort of build, um, and it's great. I love it. Um, know that more content will be coming. Um, it's quite hard to find time to sit down and make videos, but that's okay. Um, and I, I doubt really anybody has an expectation, but I, I probably won't be making stuff unless I just really want to. Um, I had I, I had to remind myself that it's been three weeks since my last video. Um, and then I remembered, oh yeah, I should probably get back to playing this game. Um, so yeah, that's where we stand currently. Most of you probably know this, but in an invasion, always get rid of the sorcerer first. These annoying bastards always complain as to why sorcery isn't good in Dark Souls 3. And you know what? Thank you, Miyazaki. Thank you for making sorcery not that good. Minus the fucking mistake homing soul mass is. Um, because in a situation where you have to focus on multiple targets, sorcery is infuriating. Um, is it good? Not really, but it's infuriating. So, thank you, Miyazaki. I think. Uh, this guy right here, I beat on a separate occasion, uh, in the night. Uh, but he messes me up this time. And you'll see that here. Yeah. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. There'll be more coming. Don't worry.